signs that your raw water pump is not functioning properly um, are the following. Usually you will have a reduced water flow if you look outside of your exhaust where the water is squirting into the water. Or secondly, you will have uh, water dripping into your engine bay from below the, the raw water pump as it leaks. And the third, which is the most serious one, is when all the impeller blades are broken and you will uh, get overheating in your engine. On the 3YM motors, the raw water pump sits on the um, front right hand side at the bottom and it's got its own little pulley so it runs off its own fan belt um, to drive the pump. This is the 3YM30AE bracket on the water pump which is different to the 3YM normal motor, the older one. This is the new motor with the new bracket on the water pump. Yeah. Get to the impeller, you open up this back cover, you take this cover off. Taking off the back plate, you can see the impeller inside and you can see there's one blade gone there and oh, let me get this tap it around. There's the impeller broken off, piece of impeller. And we can see inside there. So that's the pump without the impeller. And there's the impeller with broken blades. You can see the blades broken off. So the next step is, and the next point is that seal there. That seal over there. We have to take out. And the water leaks through over there. Taking off the nut. Circlip to take off there. Take it loose. Get the spring. Mm. Look here, no? Yeah. It's completely no. destroyed. And that's what's created the problem is that when the spring goes. No, that's with yeah, me yeah. with the screwdriver. Okay. But what happens is when the spring goes, mm -hmm. it's then not it's not tight, tight onto tight. the shaft. Mm -hmm. The are dirty. All I'm going to do is get some uh, water paper mm -hmm. and we'll clean them up. Yes. And look at these, also corroding. Look here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to take these out and put the stainless steel ones up all clean. So that's uh, the water pump. But this seal, like I said, is 70 Rand versus 20 Rand. You can see the new seal pushed into place with uh, your finger. Come have a look. Put it in the drawer. Spun it. Look how nice and shiny it is. When you are, have a problem with the pump, it is false economy, as I've learned in the past, to only replace the part that is problematic. It is far better to remove all the wear and tear parts, which means the two bearings and the seal the leak and the impeller and the seal. Uh, to prevent further problems for at least another year. It's the shaft with everything taken off, just the circle up on. There's a 
new bearing. It's the old bearing. So clip back. Stainless steel bolt in. Stainless steel washer. surprised that shaft came out so easy normally I've had to give it a bit more of a persuasion okay. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this video, so please give us a like and subscribe to see further episodes.